welcome to part three now next time you go into social media and you type the words uh, uncircumcised fool yeah or you type the word msepere or you type the word whatever abusive uh, word you type hurled at another kenyan just remember you're the product of very good propaganda yeah by intelligence community just remember that okay you may be very educated you may be very learned you may be very clever but finally you're nothing less and nothing more than just the product of propaganda it is sad that we still see analysis amongst the intelligence community about certain people being a threat to national security of the ever elected president it's very sad but now you know where it all came from okay now personally i cannot emphasize enough that i do not care who the next president of kenya is yeah I do not care whether it's Raila Odinga, I do not care whether it is uh, Uhuru Kenyatta. Yeah? After all, I don't see any difference it will make to me personally as a person. And indeed, uh, a lot of Kenyans should be in the same position as me. Unless you're going to get an appointment into the government, whichever government is going to be appointed, there's really nothing you're going to benefit. Yeah? Maybe you're going to be very happy that your side won, but that's it. You'll have spent many months following analysis, listening to Kumekucha about what's going on, and you'll be happy that you've won, yeah, because politics is exciting. But at the end of the day, you'll have spent a lot of your hard, hard, uh, hard earned money, you'll have spent a lot of your valuable, valuable time following this contest, yeah. But there's nothing you're going to gain from it, absolutely zero. Unless, of course, you are appointed to the government. If you are appointed to whichever government that wins, then you're going to be very lucky because you can get involved in some scandal and swindle billions of money from uh, the, the national coffers or you can get in, uh, uh, elected to a position of influence become famous have your picture in the newspaper every day or you'll benefit a lot okay but for the vast majority of us kenyans we absolutely will absolutely gain zero whoever is elected and that is a fact okay so what my interest is what my interest is is very simple my interest is that those abusive things we see on social media, some of which you even appear in this channel, yeah, aimed, targeted at the other community, aimed, targeted at the other country, because I think I should just start calling them the other country, yeah? There's no need of pretending we're one country, yeah? So let me just start talking about two different countries, because that's really what we are, yeah? So my, my big dream is that these two republics shall sign a peace accord. The Republic of Gehez, and the Republic of Masepere shall sit down and sign a peace accord so that we stop seeing these uh, abusive comments here hurled at the other side, hurled against each other, these abusive exchanges, yeah? And uh, normally the excuse given is uh, a political discussion. <laughs> what political discussion really? Zero. There's no political discussion. It is just hatred. It is an opportunity to spew out hatred, to vent out your hatred against the other community. That's all it is. And it's very interesting because I've traveled to many countries. I have never seen this stupidity which is amongst Kenyans. I have never seen it anywhere. Okay? You can't really blame Kenyans because as I've said, it, it, we are all the product of propaganda. Yeah? A very carefully crafted propaganda campaign that has worked so well that 30, 40 years later, it is still working. My dear fellow Kenyans, if we do not wake up and realize what is happening, if we do not wake up and see this thing, then it shall surely come back to haunt us in a very bad way. Because surely, those who we sit down, we, whom we sit on and call them inferior, one day don't you think they'll have had enough? Yeah? And all this abuses back and forth, all this venting back and forth, don't you think that one day it will develop into something more than just venting over social media? Don't you think there's a danger of that happening? Yes, we must do something. We must, must do something. Please, give this thing a deeper thought. Please, start thinking what part you can play. Don't worry about the other people. Don't worry about others around you or they'll not be able to do anything. Why don't we start with you? Yes, you. What can you do? To end this nonsense what can you do to end this national disaster you what can you do but what can somebody do nothing absolutely nothing yeah but i personally have done something i have talked to my children and i've told them about this whole nonsense 
I've told them that every Kenyan is the same, that nobody should cheat you that this community is better than this other community. Nobody should cheat you that a certain community is superior to another one. Yeah, I've taught them that each individual deserves a right to be heard. I've told them that our constitution de defends and acknowledges each individual. Yeah, it has got nothing there to do with tribe. I have not seen in the constitution anything saying that one tribe is superior to another. I have not seen in our constitution anything saying that one tribe can never be president. I have not seen those things. And I've taught my children well in that. And I've taught my children it's up to them to stand up and say no to nonsense, say no to rubbish, say no to injustice. That is probably all I can do. I've also tried to be a bit ambitious and make this recording, which I'm sure will fall on deaf ears. If anything, I suspect it amusha how my shetani is a iso tribal my shetani is tamusha kabisa. We'll see very abusive comments being hurled from one side to the other. We'll see very abusive comments, but my words will be taken out of context. Yeah, we'll see all that. But at least I have done, I've tried to do something. Yeah, you know the saddest, saddest, saddest words, words in this world and the saddest situation according to me is a person reaching a position saying I wish I wish I had done or I wish I tried you know at least I will be able to say when my time ends on this beautiful earth this beautiful planet this beautiful country I'll be able to say I tried yeah I told Kenyans yeah if God asks me I'll tell him I told Kenyans okay now as to what was done in the past I'm not here to judge either let God judge those uh, people who made those who made that decision to be able to ostracize this Kenyan community who made that decision that this intelligence oper op uh, intelligence this intelligence operation should go ahead and the damage it did on the country I'm not a judge and even the, the the good Lord tells us in his good book do not judge others therefore I'm not here to judge the thing I'm here to do is to ask Kenyans to wake up smell the coffee let us get out it's going to be very hard because this propaganda has very deep roots in our society. Yeah, that's why children are born and already a small child who can barely talk is already saying wajalu and wajinga. Yeah, it is so deeply ingrained in us. Yeah, or they are saying, oh, wakikuyu anapenda pesa. Whatever they are saying, it is so deep in us, this war. And my only wish is that this war would end. My only wish is that even if it's a small band of Kenyans would wake up and realize what is happening and say enough is enough we want our country back one country one people not a country with different people not a, with different people different opinions uh, some superior some inferior etc etc one country one people every man and woman equal that that is what is our country deserves that is what we all deserve okay I'm sure it's, it's, it's a long shot. I don't think it'll ever happen in my lifetime. If it does, I'll be very grateful. But I'm just being realistic as I always am. Yeah, I love my country with all my heart. And I hope that this particular recording, of all the recordings I've done, will reach and touch a few people. That they will realize that even them, they can play a small part in starting the change in Kenya. Yeah, change starts with a very small step. The wise Chinese said a journey of a thousand, a thousand miles starts with a single step. Why don't you start with a single step now? Halt all abuses. Change your mind. Change your thinking. There's no community which is stupid. There's no community which can, does not deserve to leave the country. Whatever the outcome of our coming elections, there's nothing like that. That is all propaganda. Propaganda that was thrown at this nation. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for listening to me. God bless Kenya and God help Kenyans wake up. Amen. This is Chris Kumekucha.